Paige and Berkner with Urban Fitness Twin Cities and Addie is here with me today and we're going to show you another oblique exercise. Um, this one you can do on your own if you feel comfortable with your feet pressed up against a wall or if you have a low table or bench or um, piece of furniture you can slide your legs under. We're going to show this version today with a friend holding um, your legs. So. You can do it either way. A friend holding your legs does make it a little easier. So just having something to put your feet under. The wall is definitely the hardest. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you lie on your side. Yep. So you want your shoulders and hips in a nice straight line. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna straighten your legs out. You're gonna put, yep, your bottom leg in front and your top leg in back. That's the important part to set up. If you do the other way, it's really weird. So make sure that bottom leg comes in front and that top leg goes in back. If you were using a wall, you would push both feet into the wall so that you were using the wall to help support you. Abs stay pulled in nice and tight. Shoulder stays down away from your ear. There's a couple different options of how you can do this with your arms. But the most important thing is that you are using your oblique on your side to lift your upper body up and down. So I'm gonna hold Addie's legs. Yep, and then she is going to reach her upper body, her shoulder towards her hip. Good, and down. Does it matter what I do with this bottom arm? So what you're doing right now is a perfect starting okay. position where you're leaving it on the ground, palm into the floor to help support. To make this a little bit more difficult, you would take that top hand and put it on your side. Yep, and you can even reach it out towards you so okay. as you come up, it slides down your leg. Good. And you really wanna make sure that you don't feel this in your back. If you feel it in your back, then what you're doing is you're, you're pardon me, you're not holding your core. So if you're feeling it in your back, make sure you pull those abs in tight to your spine. Good, one more version. Actually, we'll show you two real quick. If you pull that top hand up off the ground as you come up, if you can do that, uh, it's going to make it a little bit harder. Yes. Way but, harder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. And if you want to make it even harder, you can put both hands behind your head. Oh, okay. Yep. And lift up. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm not ready for that one. That's all right. So figure out what level you're at and stay there until you feel comfortable going up to the next level. And you can do anywhere from eight to 20 of these before you feel you need to move up. So. And do the other side. Yes, always do the other <laughs> side. That's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you so much.